Alright, hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris. I am a amateur photographer um, and I use a lot of budget products. So if you're a professional photographer, obviously this channel isn't going to be for you. But today I want to go over a pretty cool app that I was introduced to by a friend of mine. Um, and it's the DSLR remote. So if you're used to having the uh, IR remote that you would use, you know, just go out and buy that. Nikon or whatever brand that you would buy it from, um, you would go ahead and snap the picture. Well, you don't have to do that. If you have a smartphone, there's a free app. It's called DSLR Remote. Um, I don't know if this is actually a app for and or I'm sorry for Apple phones, but it's definitely available for Android phones. Uh, there will be a link to that in the description. Um, but I also just wanted to show you, you know, kind of how I was going, how it's used. <clears throat> Um, for those of you who have never used a IR remote for your photography. Um, so what you're going to do is you'll open up the app. And then on your camera, I have a uh, Nikon D5200. So, you know, uh, if you have a Nikon, Canon, uh, however you get to your... your uh, however you get to your remote sensor to activate it, uh, go through those steps and then just set it up for an IR remote. Um, if you don't know how to do that, Google it, YouTube, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, people that know how to do that for you. Um, but for me, I have a little button on the top here that I can push and then I can just use my directional pad to select the IR remote. Once I have it selected, now I can control every, like, as, as far as snapping the pictures. I don't get a live view on my phone, um, but I really don't even need it. This is great for landscape photography, self-portraits, in the house, whatever you want to do. Um, on this app, you have a timer, you have a, or you have a remote, which that's what, it's, that's what it is. You have a timer. Uh, and then you also have a feature for HDR. Um, I haven't used the the uh, feature for HDR just because if I'm going to do anything HDR related, I go ahead and bracket my camera, and then uh, I use the remote, snap the pictures, and it's done. Um, so what we'll do instead is I'll show you. You know, like once you tap remote, you get a little S. It's for shutter. Real simple, pointing at the camera. probably having a hard time focusing. Let's see here. Alright. So, uh, you know, if you, if I take off autofocus on my camera and I just go ahead and hit the shutter button, it's going to snap. Uh, your autofocus may make this, this, uh, app not seem like it's not working but it does work you just have to make sure that you're in focus so a uh, really cool thing is if you're doing landscape photography you go ahead and get your focus and then you hit the snap button it's gonna snap uh, if you're doing something you know where you kind of want to watch the action but you don't want to keep looking through a viewfinder you focus on a place where you know the action is gonna happen and then you just snap it so, a uh, really cool app. The other thing is the timer. So this works well for family portraits. Uh, so you set up your camera, you put on a tripod, and then you know you focus in on your family, and you're like, all right, I'm ready to go sit down and take my pictures. So you hit the delay option on the timer, and you can put a second delay on there. So how many ever seconds you want it to be, five seconds. Um, instead of getting up every time, uh, to hit the uh, push the button and then go sit down you can just set the timer for like maybe a four second delay hit the button and then hide your phone and you know get make sure everybody's looking at the camera uh, and you don't even have to get up which you know is a pretty cool uh, thing there's some other options on here uh, again I personally don't uh, play around with them uh, but you know you can try them out for a free app, I think it does an amazing job 
Um, and I use it all the time. I use it in my house when I'm shooting pictures, still life or whatever it may be. Uh, and I use it when I'm outside just practicing uh, landscape photography. So, you know, uh, leave your comments in the box below. Let me know what you guys think about the app. Try it out. Uh, and again, if you're using an iPhone and they don't have this app, I'm sorry. Uh, not my fault. I didn't make the app. Um, also, I'm going to do some reviews on Lightroom Mobile. They just released in a new 2015 version of Creative Cloud the uh, mobile version of Lightroom for Android devices, uh, like tablets. Um, before it was only available on cell phones, um, but now the Android market has Lightroom available for tablets. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy tablet or a Nexus tablet or you know any other tablet that's not an iPad, uh, you can download Lightroom now and you can use that. Uh, as long as you have a subscription to Creative Cloud or at least a subscription to Lightroom, um, and you know, I'll show you how I use that, especially when I'm out on location. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.